And welcome to the super fun, awesome, happy time pedal show. My name is Gabor. Hey, welcome along. I'm Alex. You can check out the tremolo from MXR today. Yes, indubitably. Mm. Big thank you to Jim Dunlop, MXR Australia, for sending this out to us. Uh, hello, Jim Dunlop, MXR Australia. G'day. <laughs> Hey, we're going to check out some sounds. Um, there's a bunch going on under the hood with this thing. Yes. Uh, if you like and subscribe though on the channel, ding the bell, uh, gives a thumbs up. That all helps us do our thing. Yes, that would be absolutely dandy. Thank you so much. Uh, all right. Uh, so the tremolo pedal. So uh, it doesn't look like much, but there's a lot going on uh, mm. with this. We also have it currently hooked up in stereo. So you have this second output here, which you can turn into a tap tempo or an expression pedal thing. We're going to hook up an expression pedal to it later on. Tap tempo is just tap tempo, so we're not going to bother. Um, you can technically run it in stereo using a, um, a, a TRS insert cable. So we have a, a stereo going into two mono cables. You can technically run that out of that and still use this as a expression pedal input. But you can also set it to be audio out, and we just thought this, it's easier. For now, we're just going to do um, this in stereo like that. So yeah. make sure maybe listen to it through good speakers or with good headphones because there's some cool stereo images going on. Uh, to set up in stereo, just use some amp sims on the UAD platform, just a plexi um, sim. Yes. So that way it's both amps are the same on it left and right. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, do a thing. So, uh, knobs. We have three knobs, but it, again, this, <laughs> this, this, hey. in that guy. Um, but it's, again, it's somewhat deceiving. So you've got gain up the top, you've got speed and depth. So gain is basically like the volume. Speed is the speed, and you can see the little green light flashing faster as I turn it up. Uh, and depth is the depth. But you have this um, knob, gain knob up the top here that has multiple functions. So by pushing it, you actually go through, you cycle through the different presets. So all the green ones are on the left. I, you can, I don't know if you can really read the writing or not, but the, uh, the green presets on the left, the red ones are on the right. Uh, I've got my little cheat sheet here because it's very hard to see this from there. So the first one is called MXR. We'll go through all of them, but I'll just quickly show you what it is. So green up the top, that's MXR. It's based on the M159 um, tremolo, which I, I didn't know what it was originally, but it's that red one that has tremolo written on it. Like it's a, kind of similar to that. Similar like, color to yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. yeah actually, similar to it. red. Uh, so it's based on that. Now the next one, which is red, is a bias tremolo, which is vintage bias waveform emulates, emulates lush compression of browned out tubes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Uh, the next one is a revo, reverse optical waveform, produces more exaggerated peaks and valleys indicated by green LED. Then we go to the red LED, which is opto, optical waveform emulates smooth pulsating effect generated by vintage amplifiers. Then we're going down to the last one, green, square waveform for choppy pronounced effects and then lastly harmonic tremolo vintage harmonic tremolo for shimmering frequency modulation yeah. so but it, there's also another function which we'll get into later where you can actually turn in turn the envelope tremolo on mm. so you can actually it's an envelope generated tremolo so depending on how hard you pick it actually speeds up and slows down but we'll get to that later let's just start off by having a quick look through all the different tremolo types mm. and go from there Sure. Um, so, do you want to start? Yeah, play some stuff. Okay, so uh, without it, oh, should we play chord without the? Um, okay, without it. Chord? Now with it, let's put everything at twelve o'clock. Do the old twelve o'clock thing. Yeah. Uh, Something tremolo. Mm. Yeah. Can't so get it wrong. Let's go to the next one. Bias. So bias is a vintage waveform, uh, lush compression of browned out tubes. So tube tube style tremolo. Cool. Okay. Uh, what key? Uh, B flat. Cool. <laughs> Thank you. 
That's lovely. Slight wobble there, almost like slightly harmonic-ish. I was going to say slightly, almost Leslie-esque, like yeah. faux Leslie, like the chorus thing when you do the faux yeah. Leslie thing. Okay, next one, Revo. Pretty so Revo is the uh, reverse optical waveform, produces more exaggerated peaks and valleys. Okay, uh, what key? In G sharp minor. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, all the guitar keys. Yeah, yeah, B flat. <laughs> Again, it's a nice sound, a really nice sounding tremolo. Can't really get it wrong, can you? Let's just quickly go through all of them. So the next one is optical. So opto, uh, optical waveform emulates smooth pulsating effect generated by vintage amplifiers. So amp okay. style. It's like a yong yong yong. It has a different has a yeah. different waveform to it. Definitely different Close. waveform to it. Okay, yeah. next one. Uh, what is the next one? Square, Square yeah. uh, which is now that's got a cool stereo effect too going. So um, yep. check it out. Folks. Okay, whatever you want to do. <laughs> D. <laughs> It goes oh, very slow. Maybe and that's not even all the way. Let's, let's see how slow it goes. This is how slow it goes. Bleep, 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 bleep. It's almost like calculating, calculating. <laughs> we need to turn it up a bit more. Yeah. I mean, so that's basically, that's all those, right? Oh, harmonic. Oh, harmonic last one. Yeah, sorry. We haven't gotten to harmonic. This is harmonic now. Yes. Harmonic. Sorry, forgot about that. Which is the best one. Yeah. <laughs> so forth yes that's a lovely again stereo image again yeah. it's it's yeah harmonic tremolo is just lovely um okay cool. so that's all the settings right i mean yeah. it's tremolo it's, it's volume going on and off or frequencies changing but one of the cool things you can do with this and again it's such a small format for all the stuff you can do with it uh now this knob up the top here where you cycle through the different types of tremolos if you hold it in for a for three seconds Now that stopped flashing. 
if I turn that on, now the blue light flashes. So what you just did now, or what I just did now, is set it to um, envelope mode. Yeah. Now, envelope mode means uh, kind of like an auto wire en envelope filter. Uh, depending on how hard you hit the guitar, the string, the harder you hit it, the slower it goes. And then as the chord, for example, rings out, it speeds up. Mm. So I don't know what it's set to now, but that's what it sounds like now, for example. Sounds cool, doesn't it? Random. So what I was doing there, but but once it's in that mode, when you push that gain button down, yep. this becomes a sensitivity, and it shows you what the sensitivity is by these lights lighting up. So if you go all the way there, it's very hard to get the envelope to open. Yeah. So you got to hit it really hard for it to do anything. Try. Yeah. So but as you turn it, it up, do the sensitivity gets more sensitive. <laughs> And that results in a longer time to s slow down too. Slow down as well because because, because it as your string is vibrating, it, it needs to go to a much quieter volume for it to actually yeah. slow down. So you can find that sort of middle ground, right? And that's what you've got those lights, which is kind of cool. So it, 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 you know, you can kind of roughly know where you are in terms of mm. sensitivity. And then that just works, once you let go, it works at as normal uh, depth control again. <laughs> The other thing you can do is with the other knob, the speed knob, that actually show uh, as you as you push this in, this now goes to whatever you want the fastest speed to be, right? So if you want the fastest speed to be all the way up, and the, then you let go and you turn that all the way down, then the low speed is the slowest and the fast speed is the fastest. Now, if I turn that up without pushing the button, the fast speed gets faster. Oh, sorry, the slow speed gets faster, but the fast speed stays the same. And now if I hold that in, so you can find, see the lights flashing there? You can sort of find roughly where you want to set it. And then we set that to like here, let's say here somewhere. And then you, you find your sensitivity and how much you want it to speed up and slow mm -hmm. down. It depends on play style and song and out yeah. output of the guitar. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorts of things. Let's try it with some of the other um, Ooh, square wave. Square wave. <laughs> All right. It's cool, and so it also it remembers it. So if you unplug it, if you want it always in the in envelope mode. You don't always have to, it's set to whatever it's set to. So yep. it remembers it as you unplug it. Yeah, it's cool. uh, so every time you turn it on now, it will be that. That light will be um, not flashing, but the blue light will be flashing, which means you're in, in that particular mode. Um, so that's that. So that's basically that. So the last thing is, uh, let's look at um, an expression pedal. All right, so we now have uh, what we call an El Cheapo expression pedal hooked up. So there's a little... The, uh, quality of... Plastic. 
Um, there's a little switch. Uh, we'll do a photo of it, just a close-up photo of it. There's a little switch there where you can switch it between uh, an audio output or an expression of tap. Um, it's like a little toggle switch. Mm. Um, so now we switched it to being an expression or tap tempo. So, I mean, tap tempo is self-explanatory. You put it in there and you tap a tempo. Okay. So the cool yeah. thing with this is, right, what you do is you basically set it up. You put it actually... Give, 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 you put it in a toe position and you set up where you want this to be. So any, whichever um, tremolo setting, right, with it, we're on a harmonic setting just because we like it. So you put that, let's say, a bit faster, maybe with lots of depth and maybe even a bit more volume, right? Then you shift that to the heel position and you set up where you want it to be in a heel position, less depth, less this. And now it automatically blends between those two settings, which is pretty cool. It's red. So there you go. Okay, thank you. Um, do some, oh, do some, do some heel and towing. Heel and toe. Let's turn it on first. that with my foot don't know yeah do you want it yeah, fa yeah. slower or faster or anything let's go faster faster like, fast on the faster setting so you put, toe you put toe up put the speed up more speed up cray cray to the speed all the way up yes okay and then go to heel and let's go back to like quite slow to here somewhere right on <laughs> Expression. Expression. Okay. We can try some different um, some algorithms too. So I've got my Revolta uh, uh, Montata eight V I I I I I I I no well V I I I three I's um, and clean. It sounds like this. Uh, and clean. <laughs> we always do that. And clean. It sounds like this. Got a bit more output. It does. Um, so I'm distorting it. But it's alright, distort it, it's fine. But I want. Do you want a different uh, algorithm? Yeah, I want square. Because you're a massive square. <laughs> so I wanted to go from. Uh, okay, so in toe position, I want it to be really fast, yes. but with the depth down a bit uh, and a volume up a bit. Yes. To the heel position, which I'm at now, yes. the speed like down here a bit, but the depth almost all the way up, yeah. but the volume down a bit. Yes. Okay, so let's check it out. Go. Uh, I'm going to go those two pickups. That's in the middle position, and that's up, those two pickups. Um, <laughs> It's weird to control that actually. Yeah, um, especially at slow kind of swell rates. And it's cool that you, so you can have them go up and down as well. So at the at the slower rate, the depth is much higher. As it go up, the speed goes up, but the depth goes down, which is kind of. in between where you want it to be. And it remembers that setting if you go through different albums. Sure, yeah. Thank you. 
It's cool. Um, it's it's cool. To, to me, I think, for me though, the standout feature is the envelope. Envelope yeah. tremolo. To me, that's just yeah, the coolest cool. thing. There's there's uh, uh, I never found it anywhere anywhere else. But there's I mean, this is totally unrelated and has nothing to do with MXR. But there's a an an, an unrelated rack mount unit yeah. that has um, envelope vibrato, and I never found it anywhere else. And that that rack unit broke. Uh, and, and well, actually, uh, I, you let the smoke out, didn't you? Yeah. It, well, the, the, actually, the the power supply yeah. started fizzing. Um, let the smoke out. You can't let the smoke the, out. And the Baron, the Baron has it, mm. um, but he hasn't. He had it for ages, and he hasn't fixed it. Um, that could this be is a, a cool idea for pedalists, like envelope control modulation. Is there one like no one else does that? Do you? I think there's there's well these guys do it with the with the tremolo, and yeah. there's a, there's other brands that do it. There's actually I think another one that does it with vibrato. That, yes. that, uh, has to do with natural disasters, right. natural disaster style devices. Oh, ah, yeah. yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know. But anyway, but it's. I, yeah, I think. Yeah. I think having envelope controlled um, tremolo and things like vibrato and stuff is really cool, and that I think to me just absolutely makes that pedal. That's just my my opinion. But it's a great sounding tremolo. Yeah, and it can be simple as you want or get complicated in it's stereo. And exactly control. right. Yeah, yeah. Um, you can. You can. It's. It's surprisingly deep. Yes. For what it Just is. Like uh, and I should also mention, so you can run um, the output with a TRS cable st to stereo, and you also have the input, technically. There's an internal switch. You can set it to stereo input, so you can actually run it stereo in again with the TRS cable. So if, mm. you use, um, if you use uh, synthesizers or something like that, you can have it in both stereo outs. Or if you have it in a, in a full stereo chain and you want the tremolo, uh, you can actually run it yeah, via, via uh, uh, like an insert patch cable. Um, in stereo on the way in as well, and you just have that little switch internally that you've got to flick. So, I mean, that's mm. about it, I think. I think so, hey. Um, but yeah, cool tremolo in a very small package. What do you guys think? Comments yeah. below. Yeah. Uh, also below, there's links to our Instagram, Facebook, and a podcast. Check them out if you've got some time. Yes, please. It'll be bloody grace. Bloody great. Grouse. Uh, grouse. That was in between grouse and great. Yes. Uh, thanks <laughs> for hanging. And uh, yeah, comments below. What do you think? Yeah. Um, I think it's pretty cool. And big thank you once again to Jim Dunlop, MXR Australia, for sending this out to us. Thanks, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> See you soon. See ya.